straight after a flood, there could be considerable debris and flood damage on your land. Wait until water levels are safe. Work out if you can clear the debris yourself or with your neighbours. If the debris is too large, contact the Flood Recovery Service. Your local council will know the details. If you go ahead, be sure to protect yourself. There may be sharp objects and dead animals. People have contracted illnesses and been injured during cleanup. Move woody debris off the riverbank to an area it can be safely burnt. Fire on riverbanks can cause erosion. If you have access to heavy machinery, talk to someone before using it to clear debris from the river and riverbanks. It's important not to pull willows out by the roots. It's also important not to remove any living native vegetation. If the riverbank has collapsed or there are piles of rock or soil from bank collapse upstream, you will need expert advice. Take action depending on that advice. Revegetation is an important tool that will help you to stabilise riverbanks after a flood. Over time, these natives will provide deep-rooted vegetation which will create a healthier and more resilient riverbank. Using native plant revegetation, you can provide competition to help outcompete weed species, stabilise riverbanks and reduce sediment runoff, create a buffer to filter agricultural nutrients or chemicals entering the waterways. Undertake any weed control that is needed and ensure follow-up. Then monitor early in spring to make sure you notice any new weeds along the river, as weed seed can easily travel to new places with water. If you have completely bare ground, it is best to stabilise the soil by sowing pasture grasses and then revegetating with native trees and shrubs. Be sure to fence off revegetation works to keep out browsing stock. Although sometimes heavy machinery is required to remove debris, you will need a development application or works permit from council before undertaking any major in-stream works. This is important as what you do in your part of the river may cause major problems downstream. Please seek advice from your local council's NRM officers. You can contact them about which native species are most suitable, techniques for preparation, planting and maintenance to ensure a good outcome, how and when to control weeds, and your rights and responsibilities as a landowner post-flood.